Hello everyone, welcome back to this, the Batman 2022 update. I want to show you the thugs that I made or recreated from the uh, first trailer actually. And now that we've seen the second trailer as well, I've made some edits to certain figures to make them a bit more screen accurate or more realistic looking or different than the rest of the gang. And I thought it was just interesting to share the new progress of what they look like. And yeah, just so you guys can see what I've made and to keep the hype train going for the Batman. So just put them up there and I'll show you guys. So for like the main guy, I didn't have trousers for a long time. That's why it wasn't in any videos really, because I switched out the trousers for this um, Drifter Batman. Just switched out the trousers. It's not that big of a difference because this is from a different supplier than this one. I can't find this supplier anymore with this particular product because it's just gone. Most of this is GPS slot. This is a Bestly Studio cargo trouser. It's not that different. This is more elastic, I'd say. This looks a bit better in the stitching, a little bit more time taken, but this is like, I think you can order this in bigger quantities, but I just have more experience with this company rather than this one. So just sharing. Um, so that why this guy wasn't in the picture of much. Um, I need to switch out a um, shirt for him because I've made a shirt just so there was something of fabric underneath him and it just does look a bit ugly in my opinion. Um, because if we see the update on the certain ugly guys I've had, so like two of them, two of the head sculpts I've made in the last um, few months of um, two of these thugs were just not good enough. So after we've seen the trailer, I decided to switch up the head for the taser guy. I think it looks better. He has a white t-shirt on right now and the shirt and the jacket is a little bit too, too slim for this particular body. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. I think this looks better already and it's just a little bit more contrast and it looks more realistic than just only wearing black um, in the same fabrics, etc. So I'm just waiting for more t-shirts to come in, just buy these online on uh, China eBay or wherever I can get them or get them for free sometimes. If you buy like a bundle, then you throw in some t-shirts with prints and then I just put them on uh, reversed and then you have the print on the back and then you have the blank. Um, front part it's just a good look um, so that's the um, taser guy from the new uh, the main trailer so drifter batman's gonna stay right here um, so another update i did for um, this figure is um, the new gray hoodie because first i had a bomber which had a hood and i didn't like it that much because it wasn't too screen accurate now he is wearing some sort of camo pants in a movie. I've seen that in the behind the scenes uh, footage and uh, pictures, press photos. So just this gray hoodie. I like the white drawstrings as a contrast. And just the bomber I couldn't find on GPS slots. So I managed to find that elsewhere on eBay. A one twelfth scale green bomber jacket with the collar on the, on the back or on the sides without the hood. So I can put up the gray hoodie. Um, as seen in the footage that we got so this is better already maybe i'm going to purchase all of the cargo pants so i, I just saved a lot of money to um, make my own trousers but they look a little bit like track pants too much in my opinion so perhaps we can change that up a little bit change the length of certain uh certain trousers to uh, not only have like the tucked in look because some characters would obviously wear it differently to make it look a little bit more realistic I'd say so more characters that have been updated um, I always call this guy crying guy uh, right here Let's see I put a vest on him um, like on top of it like a in the Netherlands we call it body warmer but I think um, probably English should call it uh, the vest um, so I put this um, red hoodie sleeveless hoodie then a sweater then the um what's this called uh, the vest and the vest ha also has the hood which is unnecessary but i don't know if i want to take that off yes or no i think it would look better because i kind of tailor the hoodies a little bit to make them fit better this one was perfect already but the red ones i had to sew down a little bit so they stayed better in the shape of the head so this is just too big looking but i will fix that um later or maybe just uh, cut the threads off from the um, 
from the hoodie and then use that elsewhere. Uh, let's see, let's see. One more I did was the um, the red guy again, uh, which in the trailer is on the right side uh, from the first trailer, the teaser trailer. Um, in real life, this guy is a magician, I think. Uh, again, just a self-made trousers, a red sleepless hoodie. Pinned that down uh, to the back so it looks more fitted. Has the same sweat vest as uh, the other uh, other guy right there. And now we have a few characters which are not seen, I think, that much in the trailer. Um, this guy is... I don't know, this one is just uh, holding the phone in the in the trailer, uh, teaser trailer. So this guy is also pretty nice, had to sculpt some hair for him because all the other characters are basically bald, are bald actually, or just have the really like faded cut. And um, yeah, so just more background characters. So this is, I think like the main set of figures for this um, that caught my eye and wear something unique. And these other figures, I have tried to put elements into it that I've seen. So one is wearing fur. So this guy got a winter coat. Uh, let's see if we can get this here. So this guy's wearing like a winter coat. And then you see uh, just like it's a little bit like a faux leather. And with the fur here, and just this nice hoodie, which is well fitted. Um, Self-made trousers, again, looks a little bit too much of a sweat material. Maybe I should get some jeans and stuff like that. So um, that's that guy. And then we have um, this character, which I think is a bigger guy, a little bit more um, on a broader side as well, taller, um, and also really in the back in the trailer. So you don't see him much. So I think the head sculpt of this is really, really clean. I didn't even like repaint these eyes just with the white. It still looks good if you just post them. Some of these have like repainted eyes with a little bit of color and then a uh, white sparkle in it. So just, I don't know, a bit more realistic looking when you look at him from certain angles. Um, so might that be a future project? Yes. Um, for now, this is just going to uh, remain in the back and be one of the, yeah, just one of the characters that I've made. So last guy up, um, and I don't know if I should say what head sculpt it is, but I think you could tell this is a good ball head to use. I did a little bit of redecoing the um, eyebrows and I thought when I put on this this makeup and change up the hairline a little bit, you won't be able to recognize this character anymore. So I'll let you guess which character it is. this is, but I, I think most of you, if you <laughs> collect the same sort of figures that I do, that you probably are able to see who this is again just a background character so you wouldn't see it that much in pictures or whatever it doesn't really matter and all the other ones are just well let's say just original head sculpts um, that I created myself trimmed down added ear stuff like that only this guy here the taser guy is from a certain Fortnite figure and I just copied that hat and um, uh, yeah reproduced it with um, uh, silicon uh, rubber and then I uh, put some epoxy in it so it just like turns into plastic ads again and I fill in the uh, air holes and then I just repaint them so some of these figures are really um, detailed for the, the face paint like this guy with a really big tribal uh, makeup as you can see in the trailers uh, the crying one is pretty unique this one has the like stitches smile I don't know, one of the main guys, and then this guy has the hair. This is just a background character, so not that much. That's why his makeup also seems to be a little bit less. Um, the main guy, who the hell are you supposed to be? This guy with the cross on his head and the, the like the red hoodies, that's something that stands out. Uh, taser guy right now, so that one got really pulled to the front, in my opinion, right now, as to where I'm going to put attention to or towards, and that's just, uh, yeah. Not want to disrespect, but just background uh, filling guy for this gang. So, just an update. Also, I'm going to do the Riddler goons as well that I made. I posted a few pictures on it on uh, Instagram. Finally, I have everything in, and just want to show you what that looks like. So, hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more of the Batman stuff, I've got more in the works. I'm purchasing more, I'm trying to make more characters. I have some stuff on pre order as well. So, there will be more. I actually love the Batman and the new trailer is even sicker than the first one so 
Can't wait. Let me know what you thought of this.